talk about smoke on the water um, for a little bit older kids. We have a video uh, of playing guitar, uh, smoke on the water for five to seven year olds or beginning guitar players. Um, if you are one of either of those things or both, uh, feel free to check out the other video before you work on this one. This one, uh, the chord is just a little bit, uh, a little bit more strings are added to it. Okay, so here we go. This is uh, Smoke on the Water for guitar. Now the main thing about Smoke on the Water is your power chord. Power chords are really big in rock and roll, and they're especially important in this song because this is pretty much all that you play. Um, this is a chord shape that's used a lot in rock and roll because you can move it around very easily. Put your first finger on the sixth string, one, two, three, four, five, six, the lowest sounding string. Then take your ring finger, skip a fret, and go to the fifth string. So you've got one finger on the third fret and one finger on the fifth fret, fret in between, sixth string and fifth string. And then you want to lay that finger down across the next string, the fourth string. So you're actually pressing down on two strings with this finger. Your finger will look like this. Okay, that's how you get that second, uh, that next string. So, third fret, sixth string, fifth fret, fifth string, and then lay it down and get that fourth string as well. And then when we play, we just play on those three strings. We've all heard that before. That's, that's the signature uh, rock and roll sound. And so you're plucking on just the three strings you're pressing down. And the opening riff goes like this. It starts on the third fret with your first finger. Then you move that up to the sixth fret. Then you move it up to the eighth fret. Both the 6th and 8th frets don't have dots. That's a good way of seeing which ones are which. The dots are there to help you not have to count each fret every time. 3rd fret, 6th fret, 8th fret. Then again, 3rd fret, 6th fret, and this time we go 9-8 real fast. Ninth fret to 8th fret. And then the third time through we go 3rd fret, 6th fret, 8th fret, and then back down to six, three. So we have three different things that we're doing. If you need to pause the video and make sure you get each part, that's totally fine. Rewind it, watch it again. Make sure you know which frets you're supposed to be on. All right, let's try that whole opening riff. Third, sixth, you have to do is go to the first fret. Da, 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 da. Same power chord shape. Da, 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 da. First fret is going to, uh, first finger is going to the first fret. That's the whole verse. It's the actual smoke on the water part. On that part, we're switching strings, okay? It's the only time in the song where we do that. We're taking our chord shape here and we're moving it all over one string. This finger goes to the fifth string. This finger moves over to the fourth and third string. So it's the same shape moved over one string. And we go smoke on the water back to the sixth string again. So this is the only part, when you sing smoke, that is the only part that is not on the sixth string. Smoke on the water. That's the fourth fret. In the sky. Again, third fret, 
fifth string. Slow on the fourth string, fourth fret, sixth string. That's the whole thing. That's uh, the long and short of that whole song. Um, so we're going to go through the whole thing again now, for beginning with the opening riff, and then the verse, and then the smoke on the water. We're going to do all three together. When you can do all three of those things together, you pretty much have the song down. So here we go. Starting with the opening riff. One, two, three, four, three, six, Now that's most of the song. You will be able to get through the song knowing those basic parts. Um, that play along right there that we just did was pretty quick moving. Don't be frustrated if you can't do that right away. What you want to do is you want to go back and you want to learn each part slowly. That's why there's a pause button on the video. So you can stop the video and make sure you know how to play each part. The goal is to be able to play with the play along at the end. Okay, so you can't, you don't know, probably won't just jump right to it and play it. You might. But make sure you know where the frets are that you're supposed to play on. Make sure you get each part down, playing it slowly at home. And then try to play with the play along. Alright, have fun.